Attention all Taurus houses in all birth charts everywhere. This is Mercury and I've got a very important message for you. What's up everyone? We're back with another round of astrology shots to get us through the month of May 2023. And there is a lot cooking for us astrologically this month. But today we're going to kick it off by talking about Mercury Kazemi in Taurus. Now, if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that Mercury is retrograde in Taurus. Yes, Mercury stationed retrograde in Taurus on the 21st of April, and it's going to stay retrograde through May 14th. So what this Kazemi really represents is the halfway point. And it's usually around this time where Mercury enters that heart of the sun and there's a purification process going on. There's a sense of renewal. It's like you get out of the sauna and you're just like, you feel like a new person. So that's kind of what Mercury is experiencing when it goes into the heart of the sun. But it's deeper than that. It's deeper and it's more sacred than that. And it's really happening for us on a spiritual level level. So because we can't see Mercury entering the heart of the sun, which represents spirit, um, there's something deeply internal for us happening here. There's a little sense of inner knowing um, pointing us toward a specific direction. There's a little nudge or maybe you feel good about something, about the corner that you're turning. Because we know that when Mercury is retrograde, there's something that the universe is inviting us to take a step back and reassess. Or it's giving us a second chance to think about our approach or to go back and redo something. Maybe it's just inviting us to slow down and reconsider how we move forward in this area of life. So look and see where your Taurus house is in your chart because there is a lot happening in your Taurus house right now. And there's been a lot happening there. We've had Uranus in Taurus since 2018, shaking things up. Uranus is about a little over halfway through its move through Taurus at this time. So any planets in those early degrees of fixed or Taurus have been shaken up and woken up by Uranus. We've had eclipses since November of 2021. Um, along the Scorpio-Taurus axis. So really May of 2022, we've had eclipses in our Taurus house. And yeah, now we have a Mercury retrograde. So I think Mercury is really helping us. You know, Taurus is a really slower, well, not necessarily slow, but it's a methodical sign. Change doesn't happen quickly in Taurus. It's not necessarily a slow sign. Tauruses can be very productive that Rumor that they're lazy is absolutely false, but it's all about momentum for Taurus. And it's really hard to change course quickly when there is momentum. You know, when it's rolling, when the boulder is rolling down the hill, it can't make a 90 degree turn. Um, yeah, so change for Taurus is usually gradual and slow, but that hasn't been the case really necessarily with eclipses. Eclipses can bring sudden change, and Uranus can also bring sudden change. So I think that Mercury here in Taurus, retrograde, is helping us to integrate and sort of help us kind of like rearrange all these new variables and all this new awareness that's come into our Taurus house. Um, eclipses will take things away and put stuff in our path. So think about what has shifted for you in your Taurus house um, over the last several years, since 2018, since 2022. And here now, Mercury retrograde has another problem to solve. So this Mercury Kazemi could be really potent for whatever Mercury retrograde is trying to shift our perspective or trajectory on. And like I said, it could be beyond just this Mercury retrograde because the degrees that Mercury is stationing in the sign of Taurus are eclipse degrees. So Mercury station retrograde at 15 degrees of Taurus, that is an eclipse degree. Um, Harkening back to November 8th, 2022, and also 
uh, May 5th. So this one hasn't happened yet, but there's another one there. And then stationing direct at five degrees Taurus. And that one will be in October, I believe, um, October 28th at the end of this year. These are eclipse degrees. So there's like um, a link within this Mercury retrograde between past and present and the changes that are happening gradually or rapidly in this in this part of the chart. So pay attention. So back to Mercury Kazemi, pay attention to what is bubbling up inside of you, where you're feeling drawn, where you feel like subtly, but very um, certainly excited about, you know, this new information or the puzzle pieces clicking together. I often think of Mercury Kazemi as like the message, like we're getting a message from the messenger planet Mercury, but sometimes it's subtle and it takes a while for us to really realize the magnitude of what is coming up for us. A lot of people, at least, you know, I find it takes a while sometimes to get the message of the Kazemi. It, because it's happening in the dark and it's happening within our spirit. It's happening inside of ourselves from a very personal place. You know, I talk, I have a lot of students and I have a lot of colleagues that I talk to about astrology and the Kazemis tend to be a little bit more subtle, but if you're paying attention, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to pick up on, oh, this feels like a turning point or this feels like this could be important, whatever sort of coming up for you in your Mercury retrograde process. So pay attention to the pieces clicking together. And let me give you some time windows here. So, because a lot of people like to use the Mercury Kazemis for electional events. And yeah, if you're going by the Hellenistic rule of sharing the same degree, they're, ha- they're going to be joining at 11 degrees of Taurus, So that's going to be between 12 noon Eastern time on the 1st and going till about 7 a.m. the next day. So if there's something important and mercurial that you want to initiate during that time, that's the window you want to use. And if you're going by the medieval definition where we have a much smaller window of about 16 minutes, then you're going to be going from 3 p.m. Eastern time to 11 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so yeah, pay attention to the insights coming in that gut feeling about where, where it feels good for the hero's journey to, um, continue to move forward. So, but take your time. It's Taurus. So that was your Mercury Kazemi astrology shot of the day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thanks for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your world, you can connect with me on all platforms at Astro Catherine. You can also book your reading with me at catherineurban.com. And hey, you may also want to join Cauldron, my monthly astrology meetup.